What happened in, the, in 2020? So-called the pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. I'm, I'm speaking from a biblical perspective. As a Christian leader, I'm speaking biblically. And this is the word of God, which I believe in to be the truth and the only truth. So help you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you look at the Holy Bible and what it says, which is the word of God, what has taken place in 2020 was nothing but absolute deliberate action that is pushed and driven by Satan through these so-called secret societies, the globalists that are trying to control the world and bring the whole world into one system. This system which Satan has been trying to, has, has established on earth going back over 5,000 years from the time of the Egyptian empire. He has been gathering momentum so that when the 21st century comes, the end of times, as the Holy Bible refers to, that system gets switched on. Gets switched on. 2020, that the switch was turned on to the beginning of what they call the New World Order. The New World Order, where they're trying to enslave the masses under the dictatorship of a very minute number of people that they think they are God on earth. But so poorly, so poorly um, orchestrated, forgetting that they have been deceived by the enemy, they have been blinded by Satan, that there is only one God, and this God is the Almighty in heaven, the sovereign authority, and this God in heaven was revealed in the flesh in the end of times over 2,000 years ago called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All glory to his holy name. Hollywood. It has been infiltrated by Illuminati's, which is backed by the Freemason. They have infiltrated, the Freemasons have infiltrated governmental hierarchies and has infiltrated even in some, in, in some cases, even in the hierarchies of the church. And they have infiltrated the educational system, the health system. They have infiltrated the, um, the entertainment. They have infiltrated the media. And they have infiltrated religion. These five areas, if you can have control over them, you can control the world. Religion, media, entertainment, education, and health. And to so-called church leaders. At the time of the Lord Jesus, there was only one Judas Iscariot. Today there is plenty. There is plenty of Judas Iscariot. They have sold Jesus with money. With money. They have denied the Lord Jesus because of money, which is the root of all evil. They loved money more than Christ. The root to all evil is the love of money. They have made money their God. Shame on such leaders. Shame. You know, it is very sickening to the core of a being when someone boosts and rejoices over enslaving people it's very sickening it's a shameful behavior it's a shameful act 
for any human being, whether in the political or in the religious arena, for any church leader to enslave the followers, shame on you. And for every political leader and worldly leaders to enslave your own nation, shame on you. Shame on you. You have sold your soul, yourself to Satan for the sake of money. Looks like money buys people. Money buys the judicial system. Money buys the political system. Money buys the religious system. Money buys the educational system. Money buys the medical system. The big pharma. Pharmakia. Hmm? It's in the book of Revelation. We'll get to it.